Hey guys, I thought I'd make another video about microscopes. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit of a different setup here. Uh, I have a Amano 2300 ST with an optics cam. Uh, yeah, way better than the Amscope st uh, setup that I had. The camera is far better and uh, the head may be better. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It optically looks looks the same, but the camera is definitely a big upgrade. Uh, I ditched that autofocus shit. Um, it was probably had it has its use, but uh, um, it didn't. Uh, I could never get a clear image across the screen, and it was all washed out, and there was just something something was not right. Uh, so I called up uh, Microscope.com and I said, Hey, listen, this is what I'm looking to do. Uh, do you, you know, I, I told him when I went through with the uh, AM scope and what I was disliked about it, and I told them the parts I was interested in, and they uh, they agreed. They sent me this stuff, and uh, I couldn't be happier. It is awesome. Uh, let's show some live images from what this does compared to the AM scope. Uh, if you can look at my other videos for the AM scope uh, uh, video uh, footage, but uh, let's see what this microscope looks like. Yeah, you see that? That is unbelievably much, much better. Uh, the quality is just unbelievable. I do believe this is a Sony uh, CMOS sensor. According to their website, it states that it's a Sony sensor. And uh, I like uh, Sony for their sensors. Uh, I have a few... Um, even my Nikon camera has a Sony sensor, and it's it's awesome. Uh, I can't complain about Sony camera sensors. They definitely know what they're doing when it comes to cameras. Uh, but look at the look at the the quality of it. It's much much better. It's uh, I mean the part numbers the. Uh, the R643, it's crisp, it's clear, there's no fog or halo around it like the other one had. Uh, it's not washed out, it doesn't look like there's a whole cloud over the image. It's a very beautiful picture, very nice. Um, it took a little bit of, uh, a little bit of finessing to, to get it to this point, but it's uh, just a matter of tweaking the colors on my video card and the camera, which was not a big deal, it took like five minutes. Uh, trying to do that with the Amscope camera, there was no settings in the Amscope camera for color correction or uh, um, or anything like that. You had basically uh, a stock color palette, and uh, on this, I'll show you actually what you can see, what you can change. You can change uh, your RGB, auto exposure, gains, sharpness, denoise, saturation, gamma, contrast. You can't do this on the Amscope camera. Uh, also down here you have some more uh, options where you can actually put a crosshair on your on your screen. You can rotate the image. Uh, you can freeze frame. Let's see, uh, what's that one do? Division, cancel, compare picture, SD card not present. Yeah, this one also has an SD card slot, so I can actually record video and images right to this camera. Uh, mirror, you can mirror your image. You can uh, see mirror horizontal. You can even digitally zoom in. Not that I recommend digitally zooming, because you definitely lose quality digitally zooming, but that's not all that bad right there. So, very nice. I am very happy with this. Uh, I do not care that I lost the auto focus feature because it turned out to be more of a pain than it was worth. Because every time I would come over a capacitor and then back to a circuit, it would just kind of just, it would back focus and it would keep hunting. Or if I stuck a tool under there, it was kind of almost useless for kind of doing this, demonstrating this kind of work. But for maybe inspection purposes, it was it'd be fine. And I'm sure maybe if you had its own lens system that they recommend to use with it um, it may have been okay but for uh, using it on their scopes was horrible uh, I did not like it so uh, I am now with the uh, microscope.com's um, 
uh, Omano 2300 ST with their 1080p optics cam and, and A plus from me. That's all I got to say about that. Um, and no, I'm not getting any kickbacks or anything from them. Or I just I just spent the money and bought both system, systems and compared them. And this is just the far better option. So if you're looking to get a microscope uh, with a camera and you want good quality uh, imagery, you can check both my videos and you can make up your own mind. But I choose this one. That's all I have to say tonight. So have a good one.